Hey guys, Sprite here, and what do you know, it's a new series. Sprite, you can't stick with any series for at least two episodes without ditching it and going for another series. That's not completely true, I've stuck to my top tens. They are kind of the foundation of my channel and a lot of people subscribe for my top tens. But these videos are going to be something kind of different and it's going to be like a second video just for the loyal fans that watch a lot of my videos that I upload anyway, regardless of what really the content is. It's just kind of me obviously telling you guys all my past stories, embarrassing stories, weird stories. And of course, you're going to see gameplay footage in the video as I'm talking. It's just a filler thing, you know, you see many other channels doing exactly the same thing when they're uh, having commentary over something that's not really relevant to the game. They're just going to have the game in the background as something to fill in the video. It's not important. If it's important to you, then just, you know, listen to the audio and listen to look at something else. Or just look at it and ignore it, really. That's all I can say. It's better than looking at a still image for like 10 minutes or ho however long I'm going to make these videos. But that's enough rambling. I'm hoping to make a top 10 and a story video every week. So that means I'll be two videos a week. I'm really trying hard to get these videos out as soon as possible. I owe you guys one because I've been off for like months now and it's really good to be back and I really want to take this seriously and try and push my channel as far as it can go. And I feel like telling stories, it just adds another bit of, uh, you know, a bit of personality to my channel other than just the top 10s. Top 10s are more just, they're all script written and it feels like, yes, they're, you know, they're informational but they don't really portray my feelings and my personal experiences, which I want to portray with you guys, because I think it's just a, a really nice secondary type of video to have. You have the balance between the personal stuff, and then you have the balance between the really serious and informational stuff that you guys might want to know about. So with all that said, I hope you guys enjoy this story video. So way back in 2013, I went on vacation slash holiday to Wales. And I know what you're thinking, like, Wales? It really, all of the, my English subscribers will probably be thinking, why the fuck did you go to Wales? It wasn't my call, it was my parents' call back then. I just went along with it because it was a week off college and I'll probably go anywhere if it's time off college. But anyway, back on topic. We went with the whole family, pretty much, um, apart from a few, but it was the main majority. All my siblings went, my brother's girlfriend, pretty much everyone went. And during that time, because we were in such a small place, we had to kind of share rooms. And in this one room that I was in, this was an early morning, and everyone was already up. And I'm usually the one that always gets up last. If I'm ever with family, I'm always one that gets up last. As I get up, I hear my family talking outside. So I'm thinking to myself, is this the right time to, you know, do a bit of jerky jerk? And I'm thinking to myself, I might be able to get away with it, but... The thing I never really thought about was the sounds of the of the actual room itself or the place we were in because I'm so used to like hearing certain sounds in my house I can tell if anyone's around so basically I decide to you know whip it out and I'm doing it and all of a sudden my sister comes rushing in and it was so fast it was like a lightning bolt it was like Usain Bolt I was like shitting myself because literally if someone walks in like that at such a, a fast pace, you literally shit yourself. She walks in and I literally just try and put it away or as, as much of it away as possible before she reacts and it was too late. All I heard was this high pitched scream. Well, it was more of just a shout rather than the scream. She made this weird noise. It was like, ah, ah, <laughs> it, it was a really weird noise. I can't put my finger on it. I can't try and replicate it because I sound like a complete moron but that was basically what she did and she just ignored me after that and she didn't say much she went to get her clothes because obviously it was really awkward I felt so awkward just sat there with my dick underneath the quilt she takes her clothes she goes out and that was it the whole day we never really spoke much about it and obviously I didn't bring it up because why the fuck would I bring it up but anyway fast forward till later that night and it was technically the next day because I was up at like 2am and I'm always up at nights doing something if I, if I have a day off. I'm usually up watching YouTube or doing something or other. So of course we're in the same room like I mentioned before. The only thing that's separating us is that like basically a lamp table. It has just enough space on it for a lamp or a phone or whatever. So that's the only thing. It might as well have just been a double bed because the room was that small and the beds were that close. Anyway, so I lay there. Well, I thought she was asleep, so I was on my iPod, uh, fucking around on YouTube. So then all of a sudden, I just hear this, like, shuffle noise, and I hear it, and then I hear her kind of moan a bit. 
and I'm like, oh my god, this is definitely what I think it is. Please, please stop, please. I didn't know what to do. I just wanted to pretend like I wasn't there. So I just stayed quiet for as long as possible, tried to block it out, but I couldn't. It was literally just that, and then it was a lot of shuffling. Basically, she was trying her best to keep quiet. And I was just there awkwardly waiting for this madness to end. You really, if you haven't been in this situation before and you have a sibling, you really don't know how awkward it is. Even if your sibling doesn't know that you're hearing them, it's just so awkward. And that was later the same night as well, which makes me really worried what she was literally masturbating over. I never spoke of it the next day. That was it. When I saw her the next day, I didn't mention it. I could have been a dick about it and mentioned it to kind of make it 1-1. But... You know, I decided not to bring that shit up because I didn't really want to waste my time. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's just all ounces are fucked up. And that's the only time it's happened as well. It hasn't happened again. But one thing I do know, and one moral of the story is please don't try and jack off while you're on holiday. I've done it before, but sometimes you just can't get away with it. So be careful, guys. Hope you enjoyed the story and I'll see you next time.